In Trax 10, the process of auto-populating forms has changed. Information is pushed from an existing form to a new form. On the issued UTT, let's add a field in Viewed Card form. Select the Actions tab and click on the Auto-Populate button. A list of all the forms a UTT can populate to are displayed. If needed, multiple forms can be selected. Select the UTT to a FIC form. A new form is now opened and all of the shared information is automatically populated in the FIC form. You'll notice all the forms are visible as tabs on the top of the data bar. Users can go back and forth between the forms by selecting the tab. The lighter color tab is the active tab. On the FIC form, go to the last name box. There is one individual in the list. If you need to add another individual to the list, you would go to the external information panel and select the individual. If the contact is similar to the original contact, you can right click on the contact name and select replicate. Select the second person and make all necessary changes by expanding the contact and changing the name, gender, client ID, and date of birth. Once done, click on the apply to selected field. Now there are two individuals in the list to choose from. The standard auto-populate rule pushes information from one form to another form. The exception to this rule is the ticket merge within the ACC and UTT form. On the ACC form, go to the Actions tab and click on Auto-Populate. Select the Merge Tickets option. If there were multiple tickets associated to this contact, you would have the ability to select which ticket to merge to the ACC. Click on the selected form. The UTT and validation numbers are brought over to the crash report.